Everyone knows what this means, right? This symbol is a treats passport into your classroom, a necessary response to a sadly common and serious condition, nut allergies. The idea that peanuts, or any food for that matter, could harm us is difficult to swallow. So why is it that some people's bodies react to what is simply a snack for others? We're excited to talk about it as we begin the first episode of the second season of Owl Connected's General Knowledge. The irony of any allergic reaction, from the merely annoying to the absolutely life-threatening, is that they are caused by our bodies trying to protect us from harm. Allergic reactions are caused by your body responding to something that it sees as a threat, an allergen. When an allergen appears, chemical soldiers called histamines are thrown into action. Their job? Deny entry to your body and drive what it sees as the bad stuff out. When you break down a typical allergic reaction, whether to pet dander or, or, or pollen, this all begins to make sense. Watery eyes will get cleared of foreign substances. Sneezing, coughing, even runny noses propel unwanted things from vital areas of our body, such as our throat or lungs. Even swelling and rashes make sense like this. Blood flow increases to the affected areas as our own cellular army is sent in to save the day. But what exactly is this army fighting? This brings us to the truly bizarre and tragic issue of nut allergies. There's nothing really dangerous about a peanut. Nothing, that is, except the body's reaction itself. This is why something like snake venom is dangerous to all of us, while a peanut affects only those with an allergy. Snake venom is a toxin. That is a poison that is designed to attack the cells of a living thing. The peanut itself is not toxic, but because the allergy sufferer's body believes that it is, a deadly situation like anaphylaxis can occur. If only there was some way to send this army into retreat. In the end, this is what devices like EpiPens do. Calm this reaction down to help bring an allergy sufferer back to a normal state. It's great to be back. And now that we are here, please don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.